ClickUp Note Picking Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Note Taking app or the integration of Note Taking into your ClickUp workspace. So it is going to be very easy and very simple and also accessible whenever you are going to be on your space in here. So either you are going to be on a workspace or on your home screen, it is going to be accessible. So all we need to do is to head over the header of our uh, ClickUp, click on the um, Quick More Actions or Quick Actions menu, and then you're going to see, as you can see, some pinned um, right there apps. So the pinned apps is going to be here as stock. So you can see that we have a notepad. Click on the notepad and you're going to find it in here. So we are going to click on Create Note or a new note, and then you can add the notepad. So you can go ahead and write something about, uh, let's say here, anything that you are going to have. And if you're going to change, for example, the board or the workspace or the page, it's going to be uh, loaded, not gone. So this is something very important in here. You can have notes or regular notes into the notepad. And also you can have some comments by typing slash. So you're going to have here some command suggestions and also everything that you have been mentioning. So you can have, for example, a text color as a, a red text color, and then you're going to have the note set up just like that. So for the text, you can go ahead and modify the text and whatever you want. You can also get the um, assistant or the AI assistant from the uh, ClickUp, and also you can go ahead and ask it. It is going to be called Brain. You can ask it to edit or write something. For example. I, you are going to have something that you are going to uh, put, so for example, some uh, improving for writings, continue writings, and translating, for example, like that. You can go ahead and type in that, and then you are going to have it. So, aside from that, it is going to be very crucial to have your uh, specific note. And not to mention that you can go ahead and convert it into a task, convert into a doc, and also you can go ahead and archive it. So this is going to be very crucial. Do not forget also that you can print the note. You can have the history of the notes, convert to task from here, or convert it from here by clicking on the doc plus. So now how we can use basically the notepad or the note taken uh, integration in here. Basically, if you're going to head over your project or your workspace from here, you can go ahead and head over it, and then you're going to navigate through the tasks, maybe, or the lists, or whatever you have. So I'm going to give you here an example. I'm going to head over my uh, favorite uh, workspace, which is going to be maybe the ticket system. We're going to have a visit to the customer support. You can see that we have here a uh, some tasks that we have created and some of them have a due date and some of them have not. The priority is only set up for only one. So for the status, as you can see of the start date of this one, it is going to be five days ago and the due date is normally near. So basically the task or the, as you can see here, the status of this specific uh, right there task is not going well. So what are we going to do? I'm going to head over here. So we are going to have a note about it. So where is it? I'm going to have it just like that. Normally it is going to be in here. So preparing. Where is it? It is going to be right there. So what can I do in here is to open up the quick action menu, have the notepad out, and we're going to type in the date maybe of the uh, note, and then we can start writing about it. For example, we have a problem, or we have a stock, maybe this is better, stock task in the, let's say here, a space of, in this space, we are going to mention the space of ticket, system for example like that we're going to put here a comma where is it exactly on the customer support boom 
and the task we can go ahead and have the name of it copied and paste it just like that we're going to click on the task we're going to have it just like that i'm going to type it in as the task so i'm going to have the task in here so this is the task i'm going to select it all put it bold and maybe i can go ahead and uh, put a font color of it and i'm going to let it just like that so this is the task we're going to have here the problem uh here is uh, mentioned in here status status we're going to have here two in contact with the person i'm going to put this as not bold and this one i'm going to not put it bold but i'm going to change the font color to something like that so this is highlighted now this is going to be the first note that i have added now i can go ahead and let this out so i'm going to let this out and i'm going to open the notepad again and i'm going to find my notes for example i'm going to do another note for example this is for a su reclamation or an su let's say here a uh, problem solving or something like that i can go ahead and have for example a remark or a something about maybe a start date so we have is not an issue but you're going to mention it anyway this is one i'm going to put one and we're going to distinguish those with numbers for example here we have as you can see the second one or the second note is going to be about none of the start dates of the backlog tasks are mentioned so we are going to have this for example the backlog i'm going to put it as bold and i can go ahead and have the task uh here the start dates which is going to be highlighting the um the observation in here i'm going to have it as like this maybe i'm going to have it just like that boom this is one way as you can consider uh for using the notes now also i can go ahead and add another note for example if i find that we do not have a task maybe i'm going to click on notepad click here i'm going to have another note so we are going to create another note and maybe i'm going to add into the specific uh, here uh, customer support i'm going to create a task so here we are going to have uh, upload the videos created so we are going to have it just like that i'm going to make it bold then i can go ahead and click on convert to task so as you can see we have here the convert to task we're going to have the name of it since it is going to be description put just right there boom now we can go ahead and have the status for example i'm going to have the uh maybe uh solution caused resolved on the backlog we are going to add it to the backlog we can go ahead and have the assignee the due date or the start date i'm going to put uh, today due date maybe it is going to be in here priority is going to be high tags you can go ahead and add your tags in here also you can add some dependencies subtasks and checklists you can add or show the custom fields or add a new field boom this is a task draft as you can read so i can also have or use one of the templates use one of the templates if we have or the instantly from the templates i'm going to have the uh, watchers as you can see i'm going to select the watcher i can go ahead also and attach a file and we can create and open create and start another or duplicate i'm just going to satisfy myself by creating the task now as you can see it has been converted to a task what should you do with the note so we are going to keep it this is the note normally you are going to find it but the uh, as you can see the um, content has been released also so this is 
as you can see upload the video created this is our, going to be the task and this is the um, magnified version of the task as you can, you can see explorer so you can have for example some of the uh, total uh, date total as you can see here we have subtasks checklists and our attachments added as white as you want also i can go ahead and add relationships to other documents or see the history of the activity in this specific uh, card or this specific task. I can go ahead and write in some comments and then I can mention also some uh, persons or some tasks. I'm going to add maybe or mention a task like that. So I can go ahead and mention this one, preparing video, and we are going to mention a task. That was pretty much it. So uh, it, it is going to be very simple. And here we have it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.